Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And Sagittarius, today we have another phenomenal tarot reading. We do. <laughs> I hope you guys are well, Sagittarius. And uh, yeah, I have the Queen of Hearts here. This is, you know, somebody who is loved typically, right? And uh, this can be the Queen of Cups sometimes, but it can be any queen, right? And uh, I feel like this is you and somebody loves you here. Yes, they do. And they can be really nervous right now, Sagittarius, and we'll talk a little bit about that in the reading, right? But before we begin, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may get one. They're lots of fun. We do them on the phone. And uh, then we have the tarot spread at the end, so you get two different unique insights. You do. And if you would like a free psychic reading with Mystic Sense for five minutes, Sagittarius, that link is below, right? Yeah. And so mine are a lot longer. They are, of course, right? They're up to an hour, but, uh, or not, but I should say that they're accurate and, and they're accurate. Yeah. Because I'm a silver grad. Okay. So let's get into it. Uh, queen of hearts, Sagittarius, uh, who's the queen of hearts in that movie, uh, with, what's her name? Uh, you know, Alice went down the looking hole or whatever, out, went in the ground, whatever the name of that, <laughs> that crazy lady, right? The queen of hearts, right? Uh, that's funny, right? Yeah, kind of. All right, let's see here. That guy had that, uh, he, Lewis Carroll, I think he was, uh, he took some drugs and then he had those hallucinations about that. I'm pretty sure, but yeah. So in this reading, Sagittarius, let's talk about this because it's very cool. Uh, we have the Raven over here too. And you know, the Raven is, uh, I believe intelligent, like the crow. I feel like they're cousins or something like that, right? They could be. And, uh, mm -hmm. I think the Raven is bigger, uh, but the, the crow I know is very intelligent and the Raven has always been known as the kind of intuitive or, you know, the bird who is kind of about the occult, right. And, uh, trusting intuition. And that's what we have here. We have listened to your intuition to receive a message from spirit. Yeah. But, you know, in this reading, Sagittarius, that's what uh, you or this person is trying to do. And remember, the readings can be switched, right? Yeah, so, all right. So, but we start, we have playing it safe over here, all right? So, playing it safe, it doesn't mean you're going to put on a helmet, right? Because your mom said, you know, not to run in the street. No, it's not like that, right? Somebody who's afraid, right? <laughs> I feel like it is. You're a little bit scared here. Uh, it may not be funny if you are waiting for them. You don't want them to be afraid, right? And then we have you hurt them and they're thinking about forever. Okay, you might have hurt them, Sagittarius, right? Maybe you said something, right? Sometimes we have tongues of steel, right? Uh, tongues that are swords, right? I mean, I've been, you know, kind of listening to that my whole life a little bit, right? Not lately because, you know, I'm older and more mature. And so, you know, a little careful uh, with, you know, what I say, but... Uh, yeah, it's not like we say really mean things. We just, we just say it as it is. Like there's no kind of, yeah, there isn't a filter and you know, it's just, it's the truth, but people can't hang. Right. So we have to say it in a nicer way. Right. We have to tiptoe a little bit. That's what life's about. Right. Of course. Right. <laughs> and so we have, you heard them and they're thinking about forever. Here they are thinking all about forever, but here's this bed Sagittarius. Maybe they're thinking about uh, hopefully not having you in this bed because this is the kind of bed that they have at camp, right? Uh, when you go to camp and it's just really, it's, you know, you're there for a week and it's definitely not luxury. I mean, not the camp I went to, right? <laughs> and so I went to the church camp, right? Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, but that was lots of fun. Yeah, it was campfire singing and all that it was lots of fun. And, uh, and so, you know, the eight of swords here with the bed, it's like, this is really the eight of swords in this reading and the bed is all ruffled, right? Like, uh, somebody never really, it doesn't look like it's been made. No, but maybe that is cause it's kind of a, it's a funky bed, but it talks about somebody who made their bed and now I have to lay in it. So there's somebody has like some type of regret here. Your person has regret. Uh, they might've done something because that usually implies that, right? And this person really feels stuck. They do. And uh, maybe they need a new bed, right? Maybe that's the answer, right? We have the barn and it's reversed. Yeah, and we have the queen of hearts, as I mentioned. So what this is, is that somebody wants to visit you and they're afraid. 
this person wants with the barn in the reverse because it talks about somebody visiting you yeah maybe they think you're going to put them in the shed or you know in the dog house possibly right because yeah but this person wants to see you and visit you but they are playing it safe all right they want forever with you sagittarius but you know first they have to have you know kind of the the ballsies to come right they do and you know there's a song by marvin gay and it's called uh it's called you love to ball right if you guys know what ball means right balling <laughs> yeah it's uh right it means making love it does it's a really cool song by marvin gay yeah it's great yeah i never heard it before no and then so we have the rhinoceros sagittarius and uh you know it, it, the rhinoceros cracks me up i feel like he's a uh kind of a shorter you know stout kind of you know heavy uh, kind of, you know, not so good looking a uh, unicorn, right? You think <laughs> he has one horn here, right? And so here's the bird on top of him. And, uh, but this talks about stilling the chatter within you, like, you know, like stop being nervous, you know, with all the self chatter and the self talk that is kind of limiting or maybe scaring you, things like that. Still the chatter within to see your true path in life. Yeah, somebody feels like you are their true path. This person feels like that. I don't like to say somebody. It sounds so like impersonal, doesn't it? Somebody, right? Even someone. Someone sounds even more impersonal. I feel like it does. <laughs> so, and here's the raven. Listen to your intuition to receive a message from the world of spirit. I feel like that's what this person already did. They already know. Uh, your person already knows the Sagittarius that you are the one, you are their true path in life, but they are nervous, uh, and they have listened to, uh, to their intuition. That's how they know that you're the one. Yeah. And so here they are, they want to come visit you Sagittarius and, you know, they think you're going to, you know, throw them a sleeping bag, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's see, we have Sagittarius in this reading. And today we will definitely be using, uh, we're going to be using two decks and we're going to, uh, we're going to definitely clarify each card. This is how we want to do it today, right? We try to mix it up because yeah, I got a new deck coming too. I'm kind of excited. I like that deck, right? It's different. Yeah. Still has a 10 of cups and you know, all that stuff, but it's a little bit different, uh, which is kind of cool. So, right. Let's see what we have Sagittarius. Spring is on the way, Sagittarius. Yes, it is. And I'll be putting out a video on my other channel, Divine Soul Astrology, for the full moon in Leo. Uh, I mean, Virgo, I beg your pardon. And, you know, that's going to be, uh, I'll have some shorts up tomorrow, too. And uh, uh, maybe not tomorrow, but very soon. But, you know, it's going to be very cool uh, with that because it talks about people paying attention to the details in their life. Yeah, and kind of what's really important. Yeah, it does. And it could be a lot of changes, right? And uh, mm -hmm. Virgo is the analyzer. And yeah, Virgo likes their life to run smoothly. They really do. So uh, it's going to be interesting. It definitely is. And in my video, I will have uh, how it is affecting all the signs. Let's see. We have Sagittarius. We start with the Wheel of Fortune. The High Priestess. So the high priestess in this deck, Sagittarius, has somebody who is, uh, has the high priestess who is looking at the ocean, looking at the water, and in behind her is, uh, you know, are these nuns, and they're praying, right? And so, but what it really means is that this high priestess doesn't care, she doesn't need, she's in front of them looking at the ocean, she knows exactly what what's going on right intuitively and uh she doesn't need to listen to anybody else the nuns are here with maybe opposing views one's wearing the white habit and one's wearing uh the black habit yeah and so yeah, that's what they call their outfits right and so and uh here's the owl in the back so this is somebody who has who understands and that's your person who knows that you are their true path they sure do so let's see what else we have and then we're going to clarify so let's put the cards down first you guys okay 
So in the reading, Sagittarius, you are the overall energy. It's your reading, right? But this is divine timing and it's also fate and destiny. So you are this person's fate and destiny. You are Sagittarius. And uh, mm -hmm, where are those little cards at? Let's see who we have. Uh, and let's clarify that wheel. We're going to go ahead and clarify each card. This is how we're going to do it. Let's see what we have. For Sag Why is the wheel there? And the wheel of fortune clarifying the wheel. The high priestess is clarified with the ace of pentacles. Whoa. Judgment clarified with the page of pentacles. The queen of pentacles here. With the six of pentacles. Wow, this is an awesome reading. The six of cups showing up here. Clarified with the hanged man. Two of cups and the lovers. Okay, we're going to cut cover the lovers because, you know, they didn't get dressed today. No, they didn't. They're too, they're too busy enjoying each other. They are. Eight of pentacles with the ten of cups. And the emperor is clarified with the star. Okay, so we have to cover her because, you know. She's not dressed too, right? And uh, no, she's not. Let's see what else we have. And we have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Chalices in this, and the Knight of Cups is with it. Wow, this is really beautiful. This is. And the Knight of Swords clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. And uh, mm -hmm, let me see if I flip these because I'm so busy, like... No, that is correct. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles reversed. All right. So, mm -hmm. so there is an energy in this reading where uh, this person here definitely wants a new beginning with you. And the Ace of Pentacles sits in the challenge. So with the High Priestess. So they know that you're a soulmate right here, right? The High Priestess is all-knowing. Yes, she is. And, uh, right. And so, uh, here, this person knows that you, it's in the challenge. That's why they're playing it safe right here. Cry babies. Right. Maybe you told them to go cry a river, cry me a river. Did you do that? Sagittarius, right? That seems like a Sagittarius thing. Go on and cry me a river. Oh, excuse me, you guys. So we have the wheel here twice in the overall energy. So this is about you, definitely, and uh, the fact that this person is fate and destiny for you. Yeah, they are. Let's see what that there twice. And in the root, why it's all happening here, Sagittarius, in the reading here, is ju uh, judgment and the page of pentacles. This is a rebirth that they want with you. But, you know, they're over there playing it safe. I feel like they're biting their toenails as they play it safe. Yeah, they are. Okay. Now, this person might have gone through an awakening in the past because here is judgment, which is an awakening, and here is the high priestess. And here's divine timing over here and fate and destiny. This person went through an awakening. Look at that. One, two, three, four major arcanas in a row. <laughs> and here, this is another major arcana here that I have covered uh, these people. And this is justice. We're going to turn it over because it's too... It's too great of a card. I feel like this person learned a lesson here. Justice and judgment. Wow, sometimes that can mean a divorce. It can. But I feel like they learned a lesson with this awakening and they learned uh, wisdom here with justice. And this is also a decision. And we have the scales here twice. So this person wants to be fair with you. Yeah, they think you're going to bite them, Sagittarius, but, you know, step on their toe real hard. With your steel bow, steel toed boots, right? After a day of, I don't know, plumbing, right? Whatever, whatever it is you do with your steel toed boots, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, you know, this person wants to be fair with you. Here's the scales. Here's the scales. And uh, the Queen of Pentacles sits in the past, too. Yeah. So maybe they are, you know, an earth sign. They could be Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio's judgment and, you know, another Sag. Uh, we also have Libra and we have the emperor who's Aries down here is the stars Aquarius. I mean, 
a lot of, you know, a lot of can be any sign over here is Pisces again. Now back to the root Sagittarius where we have three cards because I just kind of had to peek at that. Right. So this is meant to be, of course. Right. And, um, we have the page of pentacles. This is, this person values you. Of course they value you. Yeah. And they might've went through the night of the soul to figure it out. Yeah. Which is, you know, an often karmic, uh, lesson, an awful, often it could be, hopefully it's not often, right? The night of the soul is, you know, helps us <laughs> pretty tough going through it. Right. It's kind of like boot camp. I feel like it is. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. All right. So we have the six of pentacles. There could have been a third party here in the past because this person's afraid they're playing it safe. Yeah. And they know you're the one. So why would they, you know, you hurt them. Maybe you had somebody Sagittarius. Maybe you had somebody in the past. Maybe there's a different kind of third party here. We don't know, right? This isn't really so much talking about third parties. No, there's not even one three here. I don't think. No, there's not very, very interesting. Right. But uh, this is definitely about learning some lessons, justice and judgment. Yeah. Mm hmm. I feel like this person made this decision judgment with justice. This could both be about decisions, right? You guys ever watch judge Judy? Those are decisions, right? Those are... <laughs> and if you're Latin, do you ever watch Casa Cerrado? I do, right? <laughs> it's funny, right? She's a, uh... she could be pretty harsh, right? It's funny when people when people are watching her, when people are in court and you know, they're lying to her or, or they have these huge excuses, right? These really dumb excuses. And you can tell the look on her face is like, okay, continue. Cause pretty soon I'm going to throw the, the gavel at you. Right. And yeah, exactly. Right. All right. So yeah, this is a, a very, somebody learned lessons of wisdom. Yeah, they did. And, uh, they went through judgment, some type of judgment and some type of punishment, uh, with this awakening here with justice and judgment and the fact that they want the ace of pentacles with you, but it sits in the challenge. Yeah, it does. And interesting how the nuns are there, right? So, you know, uh, maybe they, you know, broke some rules, right? Yeah. I didn't have nuns. I, I went to a Lutheran church, right? Uh, but I heard that, you know, they can be very mean, right? That's what I heard. I'm sure not all of them, right? <laughs> and so, yeah, not all of them. And so over here, I feel like in the past though, something, he's six of pentacles, queen of pentacles. This person knew they wanted to be fair with you in the past after right next to this, uh, awakening and this judgment. Yeah. Judgment. And he will come again to, uh, your person thinks you're judging them. <laughs> That's what they think Sagittarius that you're going to come and judge them. Right. So, uh, right. So you, so they can, be in your kingdom. That's really what this is about. Yeah. We're not laughing here at, uh, we're not laughing at religion. No, we're not, but it's just funny a little bit. Let's see. Let's get another card though on in the past with the queen. This card wanted to come right out. Two of cups. Yeah, it did. And that two of cups, Sagittarius, uh, is confirming or duplicating. Here's the two of cups here. Yeah. Yeah. And he just gave her the cup and she received it. So over here, uh, you know, he must already gave it to her because, uh, you know, they're both smiling at each other. This is admiration. This is respect. So, you know, on this card, uh, over here, he looks, he just handed it to her. And so, you know, with that being said, you know, they kind of, she looks like she's thinking about it here. She kind of does, but Hey, uh, you know, and that's what your person thinks probably because here's the lovers this happens in the near future. And here he is handing her the cup in the near future. Yeah. So here's, they're choosing you. They've already chose you, but this is them coming to offer you this when they're done playing it safe. Sagittarius, you could be saying, well, how long is that going to take? I don't know because we have divine timing right here with the wheel of fortune showing up twice. So the mindset here is somebody from the past, six of cups. Maybe they want to grow old with you, right? If you're already old Sagittarius, that's okay. Maybe they want to grow older, right? 
Yeah, nothing wrong with being old. Um, yeah, I'm there. I feel like I am, but I don't. I hope I, you know, I hope I don't look old, right? Yeah, no. Try to offset that as much as I can. <laughs> offset it, right? And so here, here's the older man, the grandpa kind, right? And the grandma, and here's the kids. This person wants to grow old with you. Yeah, they do. So this is the mindset. And here is, uh, you know, here is the hanged man, which is about enlightenment and seeing things like in a new light. But this is in the upright. Wow. I mean, in the reverse, because he's standing up straight up. So that's in, that's in the reverse. There could have been a sacrifice here, but this could be saying too, that this person already went through this enlightenment and they did. I feel like they went through the, they went to the school of hard knocks, Sagittarius. Yeah. The school of love. Yeah. The school of hard knocks. And your picture was, you know, uh, next to their class, next to their desk. And, you know, you might have been looking mean in that picture, possibly, right? When they went to that school. <laughs> All right, Sagittarius. So uh, here's the Ten of Cups now. This is a happily ever after. It's here with uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. So the, this is what this reading is concerned about. This person wants to de devote themselves to you. Eight of Pentacles, he's always devoted to his job, isn't he? He sure is. Uh, He's making this statue too. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting here, but, uh, the other guys he's devoted, he's devoted and they're both, there's two, two craftsmen here, right? Here's a 10 of cups with it. This is the, con this is what, uh, is, is concerned with this reading or what it is concerning, uh, to devote yourself, really make an effort. And so I can have my happily ever after. Yeah. This person, you're a gem to this person, Sagittarius right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the environment is the emperor. Yeah. And he's showing up with the star, uh, which is very cool. This is somebody who takes control of their life. So whatever this choice was, Sagittarius, right, to come forward and choosing you, it concerns itself or it has to do with this person taking control of their life. Now, I don't know what that means exactly, what they did. Maybe they sacrificed something. We have the hangman. Sometimes it means sacrifice. But this person is taking control of their life, the emperor, in order to heal the situation with you or in order to have a new beginning with you. There's a lot of hope here and faith. This person's holding out. They want hope. They're hoping that this is going to work out. Because here they are with my deck, if you guys want to get, get it, right? Uh, it comes in the larger cards too, it does. They're thinking about forever right here. And the link is below in the description box. They're thinking about forever. They're playing it safe because you hurt them. Maybe you hurt them because they hurt you first. That's not really clear here, right? But they're playing it safe for a reason. Okay, we have the Queen of Chalices or Cups and we have the Knight of Cups here. And look at that. This is love and compassion and it is. And this shows up in the desire and the hope. So you could definitely be hoping for this. I feel like it'll happen once they're done playing it safe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's get a card on that. Why is a queen and the knight of cups there? Right? And the seven of wands, you see? Uh, maybe you're hoping here that they're not afraid. Possibly seven of wands. This is a very overwhelming energy. He's trying to keep his footing. They, this, if this is the, if your person is the one who's playing it safe, they're hoping you're not going to be like that. Resisting them, challenging them possibly. Right? Yeah. And in the outcome, knight of swords and seven of pentacles reversed. So this is the potential outcome. It doesn't mean it right. It's, you know, sometimes it's more just part of the reading, right? But we have knight of swords, seven of pentacles reversed. This could be something that ends here. Possible. That could have something to do with taking control of your life. The emperor is, says, Hey, this has to go. This has to stay. 
uh, this country, you know, that country or whatever, or that village, whatever he's doing, right? I got to go. And so seven of pentacles reverse is like, this is somebody taking some quick action. Possibly not knowing if you will invest with invest in them, seven of pentacles reverse, and it could be ending something right here. Like I'm no longer invested in this. Seven of Pentacles reverse, reversed. It can be I already thought all about it because he's definitely the sevens are about contemplation. Here he is looking at his his money bush. Could be like I've already thought about it and I'm just gonna go for it with the Knight of Swords twice. Yeah, this person's coming. He's facing this way. They're coming, Sagittarius, and there's something that. This could, this can just be, well, I don't know. I'm just going to go take action. I don't know if Sagittarius will invest in me. I feel like that's what this is about because that's why we have playing it safe. This card is huge in this reading, right? It is. So here they come, Sagittarius, as soon as they get their ballsies on, right? As soon as they put their big boy pants on or yeah, it's, you know, and maybe they have, you know, uh, we don't know why they're playing it safe here. We're not entirely sure. No. Uh, but there's something they're overwhelmed about. I feel like definitely. So we're going to end the reading Sagittarius. It's really beautiful and it's very interesting. I feel like, yeah. So, uh, I don't know, maybe you can calm their nerves over here about playing it safe, right? <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.